And as the cars start arriving, usually you think that uh, this is a very, very big thing for this, uh, for these kids. In the past, he has given money, but he has given those, and he tells you that direct expenditure on sport. And I'm certain the guys here, the technocrats, the Donald Rukares of this world, the UOC president and NCS chairperson, the, 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 the girls of this world have listened and know that this is now where we start from. The president has realized that sport plays a big part in not only um, highlighting the nation as a country, but also its tourism. Mm. All right, dear viewers, what you're seeing on your screen are the brand new vehicles that are going to be soon in just uh, uh, seconds to be handed over to the athletes. What touched my heart and uh, I really nodded in approval was the president's pledge to build houses for the parents. These are the parents these are the producers of the champions. Absolutely, and many of them. Uh, we saw um, in the aftermath of Peruthi's victory, we saw where the, the father stays. Um, uh, we, we, of course, I know Cheptege has a, a good, good house for the, for, the, for the father, but nothing is never enough. Yes. Nothing is never enough. <laughs> and when the president talks of a house, mm. it's a first class house. <laughs> first class house. <laughs> Absolutely, first class house. Unless the mafia has come into it. <laughs> no, they will not, I'm certain, because this one now, from then on, I'm certain, uh -huh. we are going to go on and uh, see that uh, these uh, promises, the pledges by government are actually delivered. Um, uh, um, uh, Dokas Inzikuru, the girl who, won us, who ensured that Uganda goes on the map in 2005 for that Stipoches gold medal at Helsinki in the World Championships, it's very important that uh, he gets, she gets a pledge from many years ago. And of course, we, um, uh, the president has, talk, has talked about the continental, the world, the, the Commonwealth Games and the Olympics. Those are the medals he is going to consider. Gold medal, five million shillings monthly. Mm. Monthly, not quarterly. Not quarterly. So there's been something wrong. We need to investigate those guys that have been messing it up. And please, if you can arrest them, yeah. I'll be the first to sign the petition. <laughs> All right, John Van Center, dear viewers, let's first go and uh, watch the function where His Excellency is handing over uh, a brand new vehicle to Joshua Cheptege. And of course, all the other ones are going to get. Thank you very much, Your Excellency and Mama, for the gift. Thank you. Next, Peruth Chemutai, prepare and your family to receive your gift from His Excellency the President. Congratulations. Can you join hands to congratulate Joshua? Thank you. Excel Your Excellency and Mama for the gift to Joshua Cheptegan family. Thank you very much. Next, we invite Peru Chemotai, please walk in front to receive your gift. Please, the rest of the members can leave. Please leave the scene for Peru and family. Peru, please walk forward and your family to receive the gift from His Excellency the President. I also take the honor to invite Jacob Kiplimu and family to receive the next gift from His Excellency the President.
That's what I've given you. But this is not Congratulations. Congratulations. Can I ask Jacob Kiprimo to be on standby with the family to receive your gifts from His Excellency the President? Just a moment. Congratulations to Peru's Chemutai, and thank you, Excellency, for the gift, brand new Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, modern, four times four. At this point, I want to invite IP Joshua Cheptegate to come forward here to pass a vote of thanks to His Excellency the President on behalf of the athletes uh, and Jacob, the medalists. Let's pass Joshua, and see yes. <laughs> Sorry, Joshua, please. Please. Jacob Cheprimo. Kiprimo, Kiprimo yeah. enters his car. And it's a manual, it's a pickup, it's a manual because it we is. saw it. Very strong, those ones can even climb hills. And absolutely, it will, it will, in do, Kapturua. A, it will do a lot of service to him down yeah. in Kapturua. And I know they invest a lot in, a, in agriculture. Yeah. And that will help him carry a few sacks of Irish potatoes. Thank he you. Knows Thank you very much. He knows how to drive a manual. He knows how to ah. Your Excellency. <laughs> that is a manual. Wow. Automatic cars, we appreciate that is, auto, that is a manual. Uh. Manual Your Excellency, you want to request one minute of your Uganda, time. Congratulations, uh, the for Scott Flatanite. And of course, congratulations to you young people watching us right now. Tomorrow it could be you cruising this one from the government. Gift. And uh, on top and of cruising, this is, this is just a tip of the iceberg. Mm. Tell you what, these and kids are... I'm a primed for better, primed for better, but I think let's listen to the speech okay. by the golden champion, um, uh, uh, Joshua Cheptege. On that day, the 30th or it was 31st of March, when, I, when Uganda hosted the World Coast Country Championship, and I was really prepared to win glory for the country. But Satan was not really happy because on that day, that is my spot that I will always remember. And I, I, I beg that that spot be named after Cheptege, that hill there. Because that is the point. I, I, I tried to. I was trying just to come to the finish line and do victory for my country, but it was not the time. The devil was still at my feet, and I collapsed. And so many people were mocking me on the social media. But I want to really thank God, and I want to really thank you, uh, Your Excellency, and Mama, because you took me to Nagasero and you gave me the advice that. I see a lot of success in you. And Your Excellency, I did not disappoint you. And I will still not disappoint you. <laughs> Your Excellency, I just want to make only two statements. Your Excellency, I bring to your attention uh, the legacy of Chief Tegay. Uh, in 2018, I started my training center alone because I wanted to continue this legacy and mentor uh, champions that will carry the baton for me tomorrow. And by that, right now I can promise you that I have two, I have three uh, well under 18 uh, boys and girls who are representing the country in the names of uh, Dan Kibet and then uh, Rogers and then Martha Chemtai. Those are the people that I've mentored and have passed through my hands and more are coming, Your Excellency. My personal request, Your Excellency, is uh, Joshua Cheptegei High Altitude Training Center has, be, uh, has been supporting uh, grassroots talents 
and I request that uh, the scale of works is at 60%, uh, 60%, but through my uh, hard earned savings, I, I've been able to manage to reach that level. So I, I really uh, know that with your support, Your Excellency, I can finish up the training center and bring thousands of kids from all over the country uh, to bring joy. Then, uh, lastly, Your Excellency, lastly, uh, I want to thank your support to the Federation. We have now grown as a Federation, and now the family is big. We need a bus so that we can be training and uh, commuting around and, uh, and then a pickup for officially, you know, duties. But last, Your Excellency, the issue of health. Capturo Hospital and the entire Sebe region, we do not have a referral. And it would be embarrassing that uh, a champion, a champion because of the distance from Kampala to, to, to Capturo, it would be really embarrassing that uh, when we fall sick, uh, we don't have a, a real, a real uh, nearest uh, uh, where we can be served. So I request that Your Excellency, you elevate Capturo to become a referral hospital. Thank you so much. Long live Your Excellency. Long live Uganda. Long live Mama for good and my country. Thank you very much.